He looks really happy that he's going to eat your face off. Hotel. It's a little teeny hotel and it's all family run. There's an upstairs and a downstairs and that's it. It's so family run, the internet is free. There's no password. They don't care. So let's go in. Oh, that's nice. This is very nice. Yeah, this is very nice, isn't it? It's big. It's really big. Fancy. It's pretty, it's not bad. I mean, being for right on the beach, there's the view right out the window. I think we have a pretty good view, don't you guys? Yeah. I mean, the wildlife refuge is right there. That's the parking for the wildlife refuge is right there. Wait, they got a thing on the seat? There's a wrapper on oh, the seat. I haven't seen one of those for years. I know. Well, <laughs> your seat has been cleaned. Well, that's that amazing. Uh, years I've seen, not seen that. All right, we all gonna go to the bathroom at once? What are we doing here? We're gonna go right down to the coast. It's right there is the wildlife refuge. Over there, right over here. And so, it's gonna get super windy, so you're not gonna hear me talk very much, because the Oregon coast is super windy usually. And it's today is super windy. It's uh, about 50 degrees, maybe. 50. So, it's cold and awesome. <laughs> the kids are all bundled up. Mama didn't bring any girl good pants, so she's kind of going to be hissy whiny because she's cold. I'm halfway down the staircase. Check it out. Awesome. This is a really quiet beach. Not many people here. Although there's some nice houses built over there. There's really not very many people out. I can't believe this is a wildlife refuge and they let people build right next to it. But it's pretty cool. I bet those rocks are the wildlife refuge. So we're gonna go that way. I decided to come into one of the caves. So we're in one of the caves away from the beach a little bit, so you can see it over there. All right, we got a little cave action. The rugrats have gone back in there. But it's much quieter in here because we've got this giant rock that we're in. Oh, look at that giant log that got shoved in there. That's pretty awesome. Giant tree shoved into the rock. Misty goodness out there. Crashing waves. Super rocks. Super birds. Super waves. Alright, dude, we're going back out into the wind like Mama prancing in the. What the heck was that? That's pretty weird. Alright, here we go into the wind. This is my. Cold, nice cold water. No, 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 this is good. <laughs> See? That's what I have to do. So we're headed back up there to the top. We may run down here quick in the morning, but we gotta head back. And uh probably go get some dinner. Here we go, we're going into town 
for our adventure in food eating. This is the city park area from where we are staying on the beach to the downtown that they call Old Town in Brandon. Uh, I'm just sure the zombie fish down there. <gasps> can, we, can we get ice cream? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> oh, we haven't eaten dinner yet though, dude. Hey, look at that. Yeah, there's a zombie fish. There's a zombie fish. Oh. Gosh, oh my gosh. Sort of a zombie. And a zombie fish. dog. <laughs> that's, a that's a zombie seal. seal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what they wanted it to look like in the end. A zombie seal. Uh, Seastar Bistro. Yeah, Seastar Bistro looks a little... I like the zombie you know. fish better. What do we got here? We got Brandon Card and Gift Shop. All the shops are closed. Don't understand that. We're at the peak of tourist season. I know it's Sunday, but come on. There's the bait shop. We could just get some worms and eat those for dinner. How about that, guys? No! Oh. This is definitely an old town in here. It's all classic on the waterfront touristy goodness. Tony's Crab Shack. It's classic. It's so classic. Right on the pier and everything. It's classicness. The other crab place was closed, so if you come here, I'd recommend Tony's because he actually is open reasonable hours. And they're really nice inside, so. It's crab shack salmon. Look at this! And the dude's bread. Can I see your salad, Mom? And there's Mom's crab salad, but it's really good. Then he's got some clam chowder. And then we have the. Whoa. So Tony's Crab Shack was totally awesome, wasn't it? <sighs> Delicious. Was it was it? very, 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 very yummy with good sized portions. Yeah. How did you think, Cupcake? It was good. Was it, you had salmon, didn't you? Mm. That was very good. What did you think, dude, man? It was awesome! He's still a little tired. Um, but yeah, that was really good. That was probably the easily the best clam chowder I've had in a long time. Even better than lunch. Um, lunch was a little thick. Seemed kind of maybe processed in some way, but they said it was fresh. This guy, guaranteed fresh. It was really impressive. It was really, really good clam chowder. July 1st to September 15th, they give a prize for whoever brings up the biggest crab. And each day, you bring the biggest crab and you get probably, I don't know, free food or something. Yeah, there's Tony's Crab Shack. Guys, awesome. Guys. That's so good. Please get crabs dancing on the side of the building. You see that, guys? Yeah, we saw that. And that's actually, I noticed when we were in there, it's an extension of the bait shop that they run. They just added like one of those extendable garages on the side and they just kept building out. It's actually two buildings, um, but it was apparently started by somebody that had the bait shop. It's pretty cool. So we passed these earlier and the dude said this was a zombie fish, right? Let's get a little closer. That, is, the dude thinks is a zombie fish. It is in fact, Henry the fish. And the town gets together every year and puts more of these animals together out of sea debris. So both of this, Henry the fish, and the seal is made up of sea debris. Broken stuff, wheels, lawnmower parts, plastic. It's all sea debris. It's a pretty cool idea. I don't think I've ever seen that kind of idea done. That seems like a very Seattle thing to do. It's pretty awesome though. Look at that, there's flip-flops in his mouth. I don't know if you guys can see that. See if I can get there. On the side of his mouth there, there's flip-flops. But that's a really cool idea to make these giant sculptures out of sea debris. Trash and stuff that comes from the sea. That's pretty awesome. Although the seal looks really scary. <laughs> he looks like he's... He looks really happy that he's going to eat your face off. 